Hello there, YouTube. Happy Cobb Tuesday. Smoking my legend with some Borkham Riff Cherry Cavendish in it. Um, I did do this video once already, but kind of rambled a little bit, went over 11 minutes, so I was like, jeez. Mm, no, so I decided to do it again. Um, I will be reviewing this today because this is actually the blend that my grandfather preferred to smoke. Went from uh, Prince Albert to this because he had a little bit of a sweet tooth and Prince Albert just wasn't doing it for him. Um, when you first open it, it's a very, very, very strong cherry liqueur smell. Um, not much else gets through. You can't really even smell the tobacco through it, but it's pleasant. Um, smoking it, you don't get the cherry so much. Um, you do get sort of a sweet, basic tobacco kind of taste. Um, with the cherry coming through every once in a while. And I could see how, if there wasn't a little black cabbage added to this, how this, uh, the Borkum Riff, just the regular cherry liqueur, could be a little unpleasant. Because that simple tobacco taste isn't really all that great, and if it was just simple tobacco with cherry on it, it wouldn't be all that pleasant to smoke. But the sweetness um, in this blend brings it up a little bit. probably not the best aromatic I've had. It is probably one of the best cherry tobaccos I've had. Though I have heard that Hobbit Sweet is good, but I haven't tried that yet, so wouldn't know. Um, the room note is what really makes this blend stand out. Because my dad, who isn't a big fan of how tobacco smells, and because he has like asthma or something that makes makes him hack and wheeze every time he smells it. Now, I was smoking out here the other day. He came and sat down and said that that is the best smelling tobacco that I've that I have smelled coming out of one of your pipes. So feel free to smoke that around the house all you want. So, yeah, it's a prize winner with people around you. Because around you, the smell is just the cherry. You don't even smell tobacco through this. So, yeah, as an aromatic blend, it's probably not the best I've had, but it is probably one of the better cherries I've had. Um, and it is satisfying smoke. It has that basic tobacco flavor and a little bit of sweet cherry to it that makes it nice to smoke and be around so if you haven't tried it try it you might like it um me personally if i want another cherry tobacco again i would have to go for this uh, because the other one i tried was i think a sutleth black cherry and that was terrible and i've also tried milton's cherry blend but that's a little too simple for me and the cherry is a little bit different kind of taste. Um, but yeah, if I were to choose a cherry cherry tobacco again, this would probably be it. Um, that'll about do it for this video. I'll catch you guys whenever, and have a pleasant day. Bye.